Well, Station Casinos is headed to court today for a series of hearings in an ongoing unfair labor practice trial. All right, let's bring Mike Allen live in studio with more on the case and what's happening today, Mike. Yeah, good morning. So the National Labor Board, uh, National Labor Relations Board says Station Casinos violated national labor laws when it tried to persuade workers not to unionize. So we got a full breakdown of what the station is being accused of. Let's pull it up for you here. The NLRB's general counsel filed a complaint in April 2021. It says Station Casinos used COVID layoffs to undermine workers' efforts to unionize, along with new health and safety standards, threatening to take away new benefits if workers unionized. Now, the company is also being accused of unlawfully withdrawing recognition from the culinary union as a bargaining representative for employees at Boulder Station and Palace Station in August and September of 2020. A federal judge has ordered four consecutive days of hearings starting today. Now, last month when Station Casinos learned about the allegations, the company released a statement saying in part, we are reviewing the NLRB's decision, but the fact that it upheld the findings of its own NLRB hearing officer was not unexpected and we are likely to appeal. Now, ahead of today's hearing, the Culinary Union is holding a press conference at 10 this morning outside the Foley Federal Building and Courthouse. Last month, the union called Station Casinos an outlier in the Nevada gaming industry and says its upper executives need to be held accountable. And you guys, we have reached out uh, again to the Culinary Union, trying to get a uh, fresh uh, thought ahead of today's press conference. Uh, but so far, I've not heard back. And if we don't, before 10 a.m., uh, we will be bringing you what they say, Dave and Kirika.